So I just arrived at Manchester Airport, been on the road since like one o'clock in the morning and we are going on what should be an absolutely wicked motorcycle holiday to Spain. We're going to Red Tread. Yeah, really looking forward to it. I'm meeting Mark in the airport. Um, Jeff's already out there. Should be good. Hope you enjoy this one. I've got a bunch of camera equipment, so should be able to make some really sick content too. Just on our first afternoon of off-road riding, it's been absolutely sick. Um, you can <laughs> you can see we've got a bit of a um, a dirt riding tash going on. Lads are already in the pool, and uh, I think we're going to hit Nerha and absolutely smash it tonight. So day two riding here at Red Tread. Today we're heading up into the mountains. Some of the sun is out already so I think it's going to be a wicked day. We've had breakfast right now so we're just going to get geared up and uh, head on out. Should be wicked. We've just pulled into this absolutely amazing valley. So the road just goes right up the valley and do you know what? It's just an amazing place to fly the drone. So in fact, let me just show you. Three, two, one. So quite late on in the day now. Um, we've had lunch, we've uh, kind of rode about another half hour and actually what we've done, in fact I'll show you just on the, on the camera. So we've kind of come all the way from right over there across onto that lake which you can kind of see, right over all these mountains here, up this bad boy and we are just right at the top right now and that's these three handsome men and i oh, will just give me a sec but 
pretty knackered now, to be honest. Could do with a plop in the pool. Um, could do with a swim in the pool, that's what I mean. Um, and a good beer, I think. So just got back after the first main riding day out in the mountains. It's been absolutely epic. So Jeff's here too. We just cracked open a beer. So good riding day. Oh, what second day riding? Or, yeah. or really, it's the first full day riding. First full day riding. Because yes, there was a training day. Yeah. First full day riding. So, oh man, honestly, he, he, words can't tell you really because. You really, when you come out here, you just don't know what to expect, do you? But, but yeah. fantastic, and, and we've been out all day. I would say that I'm kind of half decent rider on the road, but it doesn't really count. As soon as you go off road, totally different thing, isn't it? Oh, it's, well, it's completely different. You, you know, everything that you know about road riding, you kind of just put to one side and just learn everything new about off-road riding it's I chalk and right. cheese isn't it yeah so in terms of crashes i mean i had a massive one so i started off quite confident probably a bit too confident because within a couple of hours i'd binned it at probably about 30 miles an hour big you know front end just went uh, i went felt right down onto my shoulder hip and and hands um, but also seriously whacked me head on 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 the on the road. I mean, in fact, so much that I had a, quite a bad headache and I was sick. You know, I was like balking. And I have to say, without the kit that we're wearing, we'd I, I'd have been totally knackered. You know, hitting those big heavy rocks. And you think some of this microlock armor is only very thin, but the difference it made is phenomenal. Scuffed up all my gloves, especially the scaphoid protection, and obviously the helmet as well took a serious knock. I would not have wanted to do that without the protection that we've, we've we've been wearing the other thing it did is it totally it took me confidence away straight away you know sure well it's good and, isn't it? and that's, that's normal to be honest i've spent the day kind of building building it back up um bit by bit by bit then i was getting confident again and i launched the bloody bike off a cliff <laughs> Which, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What did you do? You just lo lost the front again, and, and, yeah, yeah, and it just it, slid off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, as Ed has has told us, the biggest thing for this off-road riding is trying to be smooth, because the bike is always loose, and the more panicky you are, and the more jittery on and off the throttle, it, it just upsets the bike. So, the smoother you are, the better the better control you're going to have yeah we, we've been in and out of a few rivers today haven't we oh yeah we are we are and and uh, no no to be honest, I'm, re I'm ready i'm ready get i'm ready to get in another one yeah same here yeah absolutely uh, so, pool, yeah. Well, that's well uh, deserved pool break awesome so second big riding day today um as you can see the weather's not quite as good um this morning but hopefully that sun's gonna burn through I have to say I'm absolutely knackered and obviously you can see I'm looking really tired just gonna go and have breakfast um, get changed and kitted out and then uh, and off we go again
So look, that's been um, day three of uh, riding here at Red Tread in Spain in Nerja. It's been absolutely incredible. Um, today's been much more technical actually. And if yesterday I was feeling quite wobbly because I crashed so many times, today I felt uber confident. Um, much, much more comfortable on the bike, much more comfortable in my environments. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it actually and to be honest towards the end of the day I was thinking do you know what I don't want this to end and that's probably the high that I'm leaving on actually um, it's been a fantastic holiday do I think it's been the best motorcycle holiday in the world it's the best motorcycle holiday I've ever been on and I've thoroughly enjoyed it I super recommend it um, to you guys so the bikes have been great the gear's been phenomenal um, you know we've actually done we're actually going to do a separate little video on the gear that we've been using so please check that out and uh, yeah thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time